stopped going to church. I stopped doing the, the, um, the sacraments. Thank yeah. you, the sacraments, because I just no longer believed that mm -hmm. it was truly the body and blood of the Father and Savior Jesus Christ. This man right here, through Jesus, of course, has got completely opened my eyes again to come back to the church and to start this he said, I know it's God, I know it's Jesus. I'm like, absolutely it's Jesus. But you have to know that. He is you to reach out to me. Through Jesus, he was answer you. Praise God. All the glory belongs to Jesus because I just showed up and shared what I've been taught from others. The Holy Spirit really created this opportunity, but it would not have happened without the hard work of so many people, which I'll highlight later in the video. But first, this happened at a Eucharistic Congress in the Diocese of Springfield, Massachusetts. At the beginning of March, over 1,500 people signed up for this event, and I was blessed to speak on Eucharistic Miracles and the New Mana movie. Angela came up to my booth afterward and said, you're the reason that I'm here. And I was kind of confused. She didn't know who I was, but came to my talk and something I said brought her to believe in the true presence. So thanks be to God for that. When she was telling me this the first time, I was like, well, thank you, Jesus, for that. But she was like, no, it was you that was the instrument, what she said in that video before. And then I asked her if I could record it to show Anne-Marie. Uh, and then afterwards she said, feel free to share this with anyone. So um, <laughs> I wanna share it with you all because I just thought that was so amazing. What a joy to hear this. And I thought, man, if this presentation I gave was able to make that impact on her. I can only imagine what the Eucharistic Miracles movie will do. When people see the CGI of transubstantiation, when they see the Bible passages brought to life, when they hear the details of these miracles shared by the doctors who analyze it themselves, it is going to change the world. We can't do it without your help, so please give your tax-deductible donation today at eucharisticmiraclesmovie.com as post-production is the most expensive part. Now, a crucial point is that this would not have happened without the hard work of so many people over several months who made this conference a reality. April was the director and she was amazing. She said her husband Jay was the St. Joseph of the operation and they both did everything together. She just had her seventh kid a few months ago and was still doing everything for this. She had a very traumatic delivery. Her husband had symptoms of a heart attack just two weeks before the conference, but they persevered. That's what we have to do. When we're working hard for something, Satan is going to attack. He did so with April, he's done so with this movie. Jesus says, he who endures the end will be saved, right? So we have to do this on a smaller level with our daily crosses that we carry. April worked on this conference for the last 18 months and bore this fruit and I'm sure much more than what you saw in this short clip. Now, Bishop Byrne was the Bishop of the Diocese, an incredible man, so funny, so warm, truly a shepherd. And I was so grateful to meet him. Father David was the spiritual director and uh, she said, April said that he was saying masses all the time for the success of this event. So the mass is the most powerful prayer that we know. So thank you, Father David, for doing that. Then there were so many people involved with logistics, picking me up from the airport, hotels, all these things, dinners, Maria, Virginia. There was also Carolee who promoted the event. I did an interview with her. She also picked up the movie poster for the event. And there are so many other people that I don't know, but thank you for that. This conference felt like a seat conference, and I was just so grateful to meet so many other Catholics on fire for Jesus, and that's what we need to change the world. So I wanna encourage you all, if you are in a state of life where you can participate or support a conference or a church event, please do so. Oftentimes, it's a few people doing a lot of the work, and the more volunteers there are, the easier it is to do things like this, and the less stress there is, which oftentimes leads to more joy and uh, encouragement to keep doing it in the future. I always say teamwork makes the dream work, and that is so true in this arena and many others. So volunteer, it makes a huge difference. Please like and share this video. Have a blessed day, and God love you.